It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Terry Pratchett and it's part of his Discworld Ales series of beers. It's the Unseen University Boathouse Brewery Modo's Midden Golden Ale at 4.5% ABV. Say that on one breath. Okay, there, yeah, looks okay to me. Nice. Bottle cap on this. Oh, look at that. A little bit of yeast there in the neck. On the inside. Let's see what it tastes like. The beer is being brewed at Brentwood Brewing Company. Whoa. Yeah, this happened to me before. Yeah. Reviewed a porter that did exactly the same. Look at that climbing up the neck. So basically I'm stuck at this point because I've got the beer in the glass with loads of head. I've got the beer about to burst out the top of the glass at me. What am I supposed to do? Ah. Well. I don't know. Look at it, streaming everywhere. So, it's just over halfway poured out. And it's just got a life of its own. It's just an overly carbonated beer. Well, that's stopping. No, it's actually made it worse. Oh, sorry about this, guys. I'm going to get another glass. Chuck the rest in there. There you go. So, there's the beer in the glass. Lots of sediment there. Lots of head in it in that glass. Lots of head in this glass. I'm going to review this glass of beer because it's it's got less sediment in. Ideally, I would like to have the two beers or the one beer in one glass. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen today. I think the porter was really flat. And I reviewed an IPA by them, and that was really carbonated like this. Okay, beer in a glass, golden colour, four to five to six to seven finger head, however you want to call it. Uh, it's white head, a little bit cloudy in the glass. This gold nail, let's get the aroma. And the beer itself. Smells great. There's loads of hop character in the beer. Lovely lemony grapefruit. Classic American pale ale. It's just... I had this set for Christmas. I had four beers and a nicely presented box. Uh, the first beer did exactly the same as this. It went everywhere, blowing all out the top of the bottle. The second one was absolutely flat as a pancake, there was no carbonation at all, no life at all. And now the third beer is doing exactly the same thing to me. So if, like me, you can drink four beers in a night and you had that for Christmas and you thought, oh, I'm going to enjoy these four beers, then you're probably going to end up really disappointed with, with just how the beer is being presented when you open the, when you first take that cap off. Um, it just leaves a bit of a mm, bit of a bad taste in your mouth. Anyway, nice aroma. Let's dive into the taste. So we got all of that carbonation that kind of spilled everywhere, bursting out the bottle, bursting out the glass, but actually in the taste, it's, it 
tastes quite flat. Doesn't taste that carbonated at all. I just don't know what to make of it. I just perhaps this one with the sediment in. Ah, look at that. There you go. Look at that. There's no carbonation rushing up the glass in there. Show you the bottle condition with all the, the yeast in. You might be able to see. There you go. Carbonation. So I bet you this is a completely different type of beer. Yes, more, it's, it's carbonated. It's a lot better than the carbonation. It's got a, kind of a tangy. When I say tangy, I say it's kind of a strange finish to the beer. It's bitter. A little bit of lemon, not much sweetness going on. It's just not a very well constructed beer. And I don't know the quality control at uh, Brentwood Brewing Company. I've had a few of their beers and they've all been okay. Let's see if it'll focus on the right in there. There you go. I'm getting it to do that because I'm trying to get it to focus back on my face afterwards. There we are. It's better. So, I'm just going to wrap this up. I don't think much of this beer at all. For a start, it's in two parts. I suppose I could add them together. But there's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of grapefruits, a little bit of biscuit malt in there. It's okay, well, I suppose. Yeah, it's an okay beer. It's an okay beer. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I just got a funny feeling this, this whole range of beer was rushed. This whole series of beers were rushed out and maybe Brentwood wasn't given enough time to perfect what they were asked to do. But 5 out of 10, thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box, please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.